Konnichiwa and welcome to the Samurai Monkey 42. In this video, I wanted to show you guys a very controversial Japanese NCO sword that I have right here. Well, I have two swords right here. This is the one we're going to be talking about. And this other Japanese NCO sword is just going to be just to compare both of them. So this is a very controversial Japanese sword. Everyone says that this brass uh, suka handle sword is fake. And I say it's not. This is a very real uh, produced in World War II Japanese sword. And I'm going to be comparing this to. I've also, the reason why I hold my ground on this is a real Japanese NCO sword is because I actually seen, seen uh, pictures of Japanese soldiers with brass handle NCO swords during World War II. The unfortunate thing is that I just didn't get a screenshot or purchase this this uh, photos when I've seen about two uh, photos with Japanese soldiers holding a sword just like this one. You can see the brass color on the picture and it's just the similarities on both are just the same they're just they're just very very alike so we're gonna be making a comparison of both of them very up close on this video so uh, check it out okay so I have both of the swords here now and I'm gonna be comparing both of them right away you can tell that both are almost the same measure And like I said earlier on the video, I seen Japanese soldiers with brass handle swords during World War II. Here is a, the aluminum handle. Uh, and you can see that this one has a lot of it, the paint still left. Obviously this brass suka wasn't gonna be able to hold paint at all. Something that also it's just very similar is the stamping. It's the same as any other Japanese sword. So the the stamping is just very accurate for a Japanese NCO sword, which I've noticed on a lot of fake Japanese swords, the stamping is off. It's just very big and it's just rattle. It covers all the fuki and you see the brass subas are the same hole is there very identical screw here in the middle is there this one doesn't have the green olive paint this one has just a better paint Okay, and I'm gonna open the sword now so we can compare the blades. Okay, so I have both of the swords open now. And one more time, I'm gonna compare the stamping, which is just almost the same. And here are the two blades. Now, this one, this blade here, it's a very rough um, shape we're just doing this for a comparison that's the numbers from the aluminum blade and this is the numbers from the brass uh, handle lens heel sore which are just very identical this is just an earlier edition maybe a few of these were produced but you can see both of them have grooves and the tip is very the same as the NCO sore. So 
so that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little bit about japanese swords so thank you so much for watching subscribe share and like sayonara